Uh, howdy y'all, Hunky T here. Uh, just posting up this video of uh, Sheriff Greedy Judd uh, from Polk County, Florida, talking about how he started off in the in the business and uh, how he always wanted to be a, an officer of the law. And uh, I think y'all might enjoy this little story. So uh, without further ado, here we go. You know it's gotta be true because you can't make this stuff up. Well, first, let me introduce you to my Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe was the sheriff in Tennessee when I was just a little bitty fella. That's right, if you look real close in this very grainy old photo, you can see I got a star or a badge on. And then there's my dad in the military uniform. You know, I lost my dad this year, and he was my best buddy in life. But he taught me that right is right, and wrong is never right, and to always do the right thing, and sometimes doing the right thing is going to be painful. But he was a great dad, and that kind of blends into this story. So at 18 years of age, I go to work for the sheriff's office. I'm a dispatcher. I want to be a law enforcement officer and ultimately the sheriff. In fact, I wanted to be the sheriff and in law enforcement since I was about this old, maybe 18 months, two years old. So at 18 years of age, I went to work for the sheriff's office as a dispatcher. The very next year, they lower the legal age from 21 to 18, and that allowed me to be a deputy sheriff at the age of 19. I was totally excited. Sheriff Brannon at the time allowed me to go to the police academy. That's right. I worked the midnight shift, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., and I went to the police academy 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. That was a wonderful experience. It's easy to go to school. It's easy to work. But when you work all night and go to school all day, it's a challenge. But I was glad to do it. So now let me draw out how it's going. I've completed the police academy. I'm 19 years of age. Sheriff Brannon in February, before I turn 20, agrees to allow me to go on the road as a deputy, and I'm totally excited. But back in the day, law enforcement agencies, especially the sheriff's office, did not provide your firearm or your ammunition. You had to pay for that yourself. Well, there was a problem. And the problem was this, even though I could be a law enforcement officer at the age of 19, you could not purchase a firearm according to federal law until you were 21. You could not purchase ammunition until you were 21. That's where dad comes in. Dad purchased my first firearm and ammunition so I could be sworn in as a deputy and enforce the laws of the state of Florida. That's right, that was quite an experience then. I'll always remember my dad, I'll always remember Monroe Brannon, the first sheriff that gave me a chance when nobody else would. And when they swore me in as a deputy at the ripe old age of 19, I was the first deputy in the history of the sheriff's office under the age of 21. I still remember it today. Well, there you have it, my friends. Another fine, shining example of a good, quality human being. And, uh, you know, a lot of you people think I've got this man crush on him, but I, I just think he's a shining example of what a man is and what a man should be. You have to have uh, a good sense of what is right and what is wrong, and you have to act on that. Well, as always, my friends, you all have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves. You take care of each other now, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.